My speech was going to be about childhood stories growing up and how she became who she is. And I thought, no, that, that's not what I want to say. Really what I want to touch on is who you became after meeting David. I hadn't expected to, but I felt really hard for you really fast. I said I love you for the first time on April 1st, and it was not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> and I meant it, but I was also terrified. What if this wasn't real love? What if you were gonna hurt me? What if I was gonna hurt you? And what if love wasn't enough to overcome all of the things that I saw as obstacles in our way? Together, they really built a home for all of us. Um, but I felt like on the outside, I'm realizing I got to see this love story grow. David, actually, our friendship grew out of his first year. Um, he came over to my house for a Halloween party, and as we all know, he was dressed in this really tight American flag onesie, which was mentioned last night. Um, but we were friends peripherally from our labs, and uh, he's such an awesome, nice guy, and just immediately, just someone that everyone wants to get to know. But he was like, you know, he asked me, he's like, hey, I think, I think we should hang out. Like, let's, let's do our first solo hang. And I was super excited about it. I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna do our, our solo hang. And he was like, let's go to Crow's Nest. I was like, oh yeah, let's Crow's Nest together. And it took Dave all of five minutes at Crow's Nest to ask me about McKenna. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, I see what's happening here. <laughs> like, <laughs> So Dave and I crafted this little steamy scheme. I don't know if it was right then and there or if it was later, but um, essentially we made it to where McKenna was sitting in her lab one day and I was sitting in there with her, just casually studying. <laughs> and Dave was in his lab and I went to the bathroom conveniently and was like, okay, dude, she's in there by herself, go ask her out. <laughs> and she did, or he did. <laughs> and the rest is basically history. I think all of us have seen, uh, as your relationship grew, easy answers to the questions that, that most of us ask. Is he really good enough for our McKenna? Is she really good enough for our David? The one thing I did get worried about, that question about whether someone is good enough, is I had to think about David. Is he really good enough? <laughs> <laughs> Um, after some thought, uh, <laughs> I decided that he was. Your kindness, humility, and grace, even on our first date, impressed me. When you asked if I wanted to go on another date, before our first was even over, the answer was obvious. From that time forward, I was giddy thinking about you, tongue-tied when we were together, and still now. <laughs> and blush when I gossiped about you with all of these ladies. From the sound of her voice, it was obvious that she was completely in love with David, and I remember being so happy for her. Their love has only grown with time. When she's stressed, he calms her down. When she succeeds, he celebrates her accomplishments. No matter how big the dream, he meets her every step of the way. Even with hundreds of miles separating them, they always put each other first, refusing to let distance come between them. And through the last three years, I've seen that. David does get you. He calms you and he brings you back to reality. The two of you together are incredible. You know, I, I, I hadn't met McKenna and I was, the entire time I was, I've been here, I've, I've watched you guys interact. Like I've made it a point to watch you guys interact, which is creepy, but also, <laughs> but, but also, you know, when David looks at you, it's, it, he beams, you know, and, uh, and that's pretty special. These are my promises to you. I promise to be your true partner every day, to listen to what you have to say, and to share the weight of our life together. I promise to take care of you on the hard days, even if it's just ordering pizza from a different state. I promise to celebrate with you on the great days. 
I promise to build a life with you based on equality and joy. I promise to continue to grow with you instead of apart from you. I promise that I love you and I always will. I heard you kind of talk about you being grounded and there for her and someone she could trust to love her in all of the ups and downs of life. Um, and I see it and I am awed. David and McKenna, may your love be modern enough to survive the times, yet old fashioned enough to survive forever. To the new Cosatillis. Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You look so beautiful. You look pretty good yourself. <laughs> oh, well, it was a competition, so I'm really happy to hear that. Hi. Hi. I've got more lip gloss. You can kiss me. 